As you probably know, blockchain technology is changing the music industry in a big way. So in this video, I'm going to show you how Web3 and music NFTs are changing the game for artists and fans alike and list a few companies where you can buy and trade music clips in crypto. All right, let's get into it. So there's no doubt that the music industry is in a state of flux. In 2021 alone, it's estimated that the music industry contributed 26 billion to the economy globally. However, the artists whose work promotes this market space earn only 12% of the revenues. But with the advent of Web3 and the rise of blockchain-based platforms, it's now possible for artists to cut out the middleman and distribute their music directly to fans as NFTs. So what are Web3 and music NFTs? Well, if you're new to this, Web3 is a transformative concept of reinventing the World Wide Web by incorporating blockchain technology. While Web 2.0 powers the streaming platform we use today, like Spotify and Apple Music, Web 3 is the decentralized web where users are in control of their data. It's powered by Ethereum and other blockchain technologies that allow for the creation of temper-proof digital assets called non-fungible tokens or NFTs. So music NFTs, on the other hand, are music clips or videos stored on a blockchain. They are uniquely created by an artist who sells the music NFTs ownership rights for a certain price. Once sold, the artist may continue earning royalty fees off of any future sale of their artwork on the network. And because NFTs are stored on the blockchain, authentication is easy. Based on an NFT's metadata and the logs of transactions, you can easily trace the trail of ownership of an NFT. Combined, these two technologies are transforming how artists make a living. Today, artists have a fair chance to receive deserving value for their work. To put it into perspective, Bajan rapper Halik Mall annual Spotify earnings were an estimated $178. However, the artist's earnings on Catalog, an NFT marketplace built specifically for the music industry, skyrocketed to about 81 Ethereum from only five sales. Now, at the time, let me tell you, 81 Ethereum was worth more than a cool $250,000. So then, how do Web3 and music NFTs work? Well, it's pretty impressive how fast NFTs are transforming the creative industry. And with Web3 technologies, the internet will soon allow artists to regain control of their art. So here's how. Web3 uses, like I said, a decentralized infrastructure. So in essence, Web3 streaming services cut off the middleman, and instead encourages peer-to-peer -peer interactions. So therefore, Web3 streaming services give control to the people who collectively participate in making decisions on how the platforms should run. On the other hand, music NFTs are digitally tokenized forms of music clips, EPs, albums, or music videos that you can buy and sell like any other product on the market. So these tokens are unique digital identifiers whose value is determined by a global NFT marketplace. The artist sets a fixed quantity like 1, 25, or 1,000 and a price for a token, then uploads the token for any fan to come and place a bid or make a purchase. Once the purchase is complete, the digital token is then transferred to the buyer's wallet. At any point in the future, the buyer can decide to relist the token for sale with the original artist entitled to earning a certain percentage of the sale proceeds. The beauty of Web3 and music NFTs is that anyone can mint their music as NFTs on Web3 platforms. And since there are often no intermediaries like labels or agents, artists get to keep up to 100% of their royalty payments. So what are the benefits of Web3 and music NFTs? You may be wondering, okay, well, why bother buying music NFTs when I can already listen to the music track on iTunes or Spotify, for example? Well, there's two sides to the coin. First, 
Collectors see value in owning rare, provable, unique, and original assets. The second perk is that music NFTs provide investment opportunities in an artist. In case the artist becomes popular, the value of their music NFTs spike up. At this point, you can relist their music NFTs at a price of your choosing. Now, fans also get to benefit. They stand a chance to get more from buying music NFTs, like through gaining access to discounted concerts or special meetups with the artist. What's more, Web3 also enables listeners to earn from just listening to NFT music. See, with Web3, fans get a partial share of the songs they buy as NFTs. And just like how buying cryptocurrencies work, the more they listen to a song, the more its value goes up, giving them some royalties in return. This is something that never happened in Web 2.0. These incentives help foster a fan's network that depends entirely on how the artist wants to connect with their fans. Okay, so then you're probably wondering which Web3 platforms you can start selling or buying music NFTs from. Well, let's take a look at a couple. So first we have Audius. So think of Audius like Spotify or SoundCloud, but on the blockchain. So Audius is a blockchain-based, decentralized Web3 music streaming and sharing platform that aims to connect artists to their fan base for free. Now, unlike Web 2.0 platforms, Audius doesn't take a cut out of artists' revenue. Instead, it has a reward system where artists get paid for topping the Audius charts. They receive 90% of the revenue in audio, while the other 10% goes to supporting stakers on the network. Now, keep in mind that Audius doesn't allow minting NFTs as it is purely a place to listen to music. And then we have Emanate. So Emanate is pretty similar to Audius. The main difference is Emanate pays artists in its native token per stream, as opposed to a reward system. Also, for every $6 Emanate makes from the Emanate Music Lovers Group sign up, $5 is passed on to the artist. Okay, next up, Async Music. So Async Music is a music-specific NFT marketplace where artists can mint their tracks. Async Music works differently from other platforms as each track comes with variations that can be purchased separately. Each uploaded song has many versions of instrumentals and vocals. There's, however, a master NFT that randomly compiles them together in one master track. Then we have DAO records. DAOs, or Decentralized Autonomous Organizations, is a form of crypto-based investment corporations. In the case of DAO records, they are reinventing record labels to democratize the music industry through virtual events and audio NFTs. Here, you can connect your wallet, discover your favorite artists, and start collecting new music. So why do Web3 and music NFTs matter? Well, from the perspective of the music industry, musicians typically make a living through streaming platforms such as Spotify or Apple Music. When a person buys a certain track, a part of the revenue will go to the artist. This is a one-time purchase with third-party platforms, agents, and marketing costs gobbling up the majority of the revenue. And also, music clips are easily pirated. In the majority of these cases, artists hardly get any income for their creative effort. But thanks to Web3 and music NFTs, artists can now get paid in crypto for their work and continue earning royalty rights when their NFT is resold on the network. So there is an immense need for Web3 and music NFTs to support and give power back to artists. So that wraps it up for what you should know about Web3 and music NFTs. So what do you think? Do you think that they are the next big thing? Well, we'd love to know what your thoughts are. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications for future alpha. See ya.